Yo, what's going on, y'all? So listen, I wanted to talk to you all about something interesting, which obviously is the Omi token. I wanted to give my thoughts and opinion on the token and what I believe is going to happen when it comes down to the token. Now, I know a lot of people are not going to be excited about this, um, but this is just my opinion. So I take, take it with a grain of salt. I'm just going to give you all some of my thoughts on the Omi token. Um, the more things that continues to happen, the more that I kind of understand the route that VV is taking. At least I feel like I kind of understand the route that they're taking. It's very disappointing coming from what we was promised when a lot of us first jumped into the project. But based on where we are, we have a pretty decent understanding of what's going on with the company. So history lesson. We started out, we was getting all these promises. We we're getting teased Pokemon. We're getting teased the metaverse back in 2021. Where we're getting told, oh, I'm having fun in the metaverse. This is back in 2021. I'm having fun in the metaverse. We can't wait for you all to get your hands on the first iteration. Then like all types of stuff like this. So we're being sold dream after dream after dream. And how how someone could be actually using the metaverse back in 2021 when they just partnered with the company that's doing the metaverse like a year or so ago. I don't understand. Like some things I just, I'm just not understanding. I'm just not getting. Maybe they scratched the old metaverse and completely made a new one once the new tech was created. Who knows what, what decisions they've made? I don't know. That's that's if we believe they were they actually were in a metaverse back then in 2021 anyway. Um, because we did have that little sample that was put out at one point in time that no one was pretty impressed by at all. But anyway, that's besides the point. Let's talk about the omi token <clears throat> what i believe we've seen is a pattern of vv pretty much going from a place where they thought they could deliver things very quickly to now they're understanding how long things will take and they're playing it very very safe they don't want to take risk with the ip and things like that so they're taking things very very slow and i think they're taking it so slow that we won't really see any significant movement in the price of Omi this bull run. Well, I don't I don't think so. I, I don't think that we're gonna see cause cause regulations are still unclear. It's still so much going on. I think that VV is actually legitimate. And I and I know that people are not looking to hear stuff like this, but it's just my perspective. Like I said, it's just my perspective, my opinion. VV is one of the first legitimate well, possibly. Well, yeah, actually the first legitimate cryptos, like one of the first legitimate ones, like one of the first legitimate tokens. And when I say that, I mean, it's tied to a working product, even though it's not fully integrated and fully functional and things like that. It's tied to an actual product uh, that had that brings value to people. It brings value to collectors and, and the token is tied to that project. It's one of the few tokens in the space that's actually like that. It's tied to things. It has use cases. It has reasons that people would want to get this token. So I think that they're they're taking it super slow because of regulatory things. They don't want to make the wrong choice, make mistakes and things like that, which is that the right call? Is that the wrong call? It's not for me to judge. They're going to do what they're going to do one way or another. I mean, we either we have to accept whatever they do. Um, that that's that's what it means to invest, especially if you are here as an investor. That's what it means to invest. You're trusting the company to do what they need to do. Um, so yeah, I think that it's going to take time for for things to clear up or be but things to become clear when it comes down to regulations. I think it's going to take time for that, and I don't think that they're going to make any huge push or moves towards the Omi token until things are a lot more clear around the. The, the token and what's legal because at the end of the day <clears throat> i think that vv should just be open to taking a fine like i think that they should get the ball rolling with the omi token and if you know the sec comes and stuff like that maybe they they get prepared to handle it pay a fine or whatever later down the road however can vv afford to take that risk because you got to think about it VV clearly put off their whole timeline to create this VV Comics platform for Marvel, which means that this was probably requested or something by Marvel or Disney, right? So that's, that's how much power the licensors have over VV. So you mean to tell me, like, maybe VV would be fine paying a fine 
but the press that would come from the SEC diving into something affiliated with Ecomi, which is now affiliated with Marvel and Vivi, you see what I'm saying? Like that, that impacts directly these brands and IPs if a headline says something crazy. Vivi isn't relevant enough for the headline to say something crazy about Vivi. It's going to say something crazy. The SEC goes at Disney partner. Like, that. that's what that looks like. The, the SEC, like, you know, you see the titles of my videos. How would I title it? <laughs> so that's what happens. Vivi is the little fish. Vivi is completely irrelevant right now. It doesn't matter how much of how legendary Vivi is in the NFT space. The NFT space is pretty insignificant in the grand scheme of things thus far. Now, it won't always be that way, but it currently is. So, when you have something like the SEC or, or something like when you, when you, this, I, this is why I believe that Vivi is trying not to make wrong moves or take wrong steps. I think they're trying to do everything right and proper and take their time to fully do it the right way or, or, or as right as possible in a space with no regulations and things like that. They're trying to do it as right as possible like this because anything that happens with Vivi goes back right back to their licensors and it's also vivi's job to protect the licensors but i believe that they suck when it comes down to communication specialists because i believe that if they had a communication specialist come out and explain the situation where it's like it's very simple we have no clarity around what's going on so we're gonna have to postpone the use of the token right now until we're sure that it won't do we can't we won't do anything that ends up backfiring onto our licensors I think people could handle that. People are not going to be happy about it. Like if what I'm saying right now is gets confirmed, people aren't going to be happy about it. People have been invested in this project way before the app even existed. So no, they don't want to hear that they, like I came in with a 10 year price prediction. I mean, I came in with a 10 year hold. I, I was going to hold for 10 years. That's how I came in. A lot of people was talking about three years. So to come in, and to learn that 10 years is the low side of how long you might probably are gonna have to hold this token, I, obviously that's not gonna be something people wanna hear. <laughs> like, so, basically, I believe that a lot of, I believe that a lot of the value that's gonna come to the token is going to be added through VV actually delivering things that makes the token valuable. And before, they're going to keep building on Vivi. They're going to keep building on the things that makes Vivi great. And then one day they're going to be able to flip a switch and just put the token in there once the regulations is clear. And it's going to be it's going to be smooth sailing from there. Um, now, I do believe some more exchanges and things may come. But at the end of the day, I don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how many exchanges we see. And also. What from what I'm hearing, we're nearing the top of the bull run. We, we we're probably nearing the top of the bull run, which means it's about time to start, you know, heading back the other way. <laughs> like especially based on some things that we're seeing in the chart. Unless this bull run is completely different, unless this is a different time and it's going to behave unlike anything that's ever happened in history before, because we are seeing some things that's never happened before in the history of of Bitcoin being around. So. Unless we see more things that's never happened before, we're getting to that area where we'll probably have to start going back the other direction, which means that next bull run is more than likely when we'll see some significant moves with the OMI token. And personally, I'm not mad at that because I do look at the OMI token more so as an investment. With a lot of these other cryptos like Shiba Inu and things like that, I, I don't know their value. I don't know Dogecoin. What what are they here for? Why would they be around 10 years from now? Uh, except for people still trying to make, make bank off of them. We know why the OMI token will be around 10 years from now. We, we know why. Especially if Vivi integrates it into their ecosystem, the ways that they promised that they would. If VV integrate, like if this is going to become the currency of the VV platform, we know why the OMI token will be around 10, 15, 20 years from now. A lot of these other coins and cryptos and stuff, we don't know why they, they would be valuable. So yeah, um, I think that this is one of those investments where you could, probably spend a good amount of time just stacking, 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 cause it's gonna take forever. But when it does actually get implemented, when they have a metaverse out, when they have the things that they need out, which 
it's going to take a lot longer than they initially thought that it would take. I think that once they have it all out, then we'll, we're going to see some amazing growth. We're going to see some great opportunities and the, the, it's going to go up in value. Now, I don't know how far up in value. I don't I don't know where it could potentially go. Um, I don't know what type of ideas they have to, to burn the token, what type of use cases they have coming up. It really just depends on how hard the project works. But by the magnitude of the things that they're doing, like securing comic books at like like the way that they've secured it, like they, they created a whole new on ramp for for NFTs with the blessing of Marvel. That's massive. Creating a new platform for Marvel, because that's who it's for. It's for Marvel. Like, VV doesn't just get to decide, oh, we're going to make this whole new platform for comics. Like, no, VV doesn't get to do that. It's not their IP. They don't have the right to just do that. Oh, especially with Marvel being the whole theme surrounding it. Um, yeah, that, that's just, that just does not happen. So, yeah, this was something from Marvel, I'm assuming. But that that's my thoughts. I think that the token is legitimate. I think that it's just going to take a long time for them to do anything with it. And, I mean, they've already made mistakes here and there with things, but I just don't think they're going to dig the hole any deeper. I think they're playing it safe, safe because of the backlash that could potentially come to the IPs that they hold. And, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. Like, let me know how you all feel about this. Let me know some of your thoughts. Let me know if you disagree if you think something else is going on, if you just really don't believe in the token, if you don't have more time to give them when it comes to the token. And when I say I don't believe we'll see significant growth, I mean, I don't think that I don't think we get back to all time high this bull run. Personally, I don't think we get back to all time high, but maybe we do. Who knows? Like I said, I'm, I'm no expert. But I don't think there's a reason to get back to all-time high. Nor do I think the hype around this project is going to be as big as it was before. The hype around this project, I think that... The hype around this project was because we didn't understand a lot. And I think that there was some heavy heavy manipulation going on before as well. So, it's, it was so many factors that happened last time. The only way VV gets back to that, the the higher values and things like that is by actually delivering, doing what they say they're going to do and then dropping some big things and then integrating the OMI token because then consumer trust comes back because that's what it comes down to. You got people who could put in more, who could be doing more, but you all you either have to have some insider information to, to really go all in on a project like VV. You have to have some insider information. Or you gotta you gotta just be taking some crazy risk right now because yeah, I don't know. It's not looking it, it doesn't look it doesn't look as secure as it or as stable as, as it would need to look for me personally. But let me know what you all think in the comment section down below, fam. That's pretty much it. Um be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe and turn on notifications, and I will catch y'all on the next one. Peace out, fam.